Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So I was looking at potential city placements and I'm thinking it's definitely worth having a city in this area because these are some really nice tiles for polders. And if you don't know, in Civilization 6 a polder needs to be placed on a lake or a coastal tile with at least three land tile adjacent to it. So these three tiles for example are very nice for polders. So this will be a pretty damn good city. But we also need a city up here because I kind of need iron. Not to mention there are some resources up here, like the sharks. That's a luxury, I wouldn't mind grabbing that. Anyway, for now let's finish the trader. And we can send a trader out from Rotterdam to Amsterdam that will increase loyalty in Rotterdam. Because we get plus loyalty for internal trader routes in a source city. Yeah, plus on loyalty per turn for the starting city. For trade routes to our own cities. So that will give us plus one loyalty. Anyway, let's keep exploring a little bit more. We still got some AIs we need to make contact with. And one more turn to finish the trader. Now, we got a few options after the trader. We could get more units to defend against barbarians and potentially roam. We could get a builder or we could get a settler right away. So we got quite a few different options. Just checking tile assignments here. Yeah, these look fine actually. I think it will be a good idea to get at least one spearman for defense and as an escort for the settlers. And we also have a policy active that makes him faster to recruit. So I will grab one spearman and then probably a settler. Sounds good to me and we'll keep an eye on Rome. I won't be settling Rome too aggressively anymore. Confused while your arrow is I mean, our next two cities are going to be here and here, so nowhere close to Rome. We will be expanding in the opposite direction. Anyway, we finished archery, so now we can upgrade our slinger, definitely doing that. That's 45 gold per each ship. And what's our next research going to be? Let's take a look. Yeah, we should probably get writing by now. And first pottery. But we definitely want writing. Especially since we got a really nice location for a campus. Right here or here. That will be so good actually. Alright, writing it is then. Let's finish that spearman and then we can get a settler. As for the trade route, like I said, that should start in Rotterdam. So first we'll relocate it to Rotterdam. Rom doesn't seem to like us too much. But we should get a boost with him once we start expanding more. Because that's what he likes. And he will go to Amsterdam. It won't be a whole lot of food and production, but it will give us plus one loyalty in Rotterdam. And now it's in the green. As far as loyalty goes. And we got a boost. So, where can we go with that scout? Maybe south? Sounds good to me. Are there any more barbarian camps in the area? I don't think so. Well, possibly inside the fog of war. We'll keep an eye on that. Also, ancient era ends in eight turns. Oh, hey, where are you going? Where did he come from? Well, now he's dead. So there might be a barbarian camp somewhere around here. Because he certainly came from somewhere. We'll take a look. Anyway, Rotterdam. What do we want here next? Probably a monument. Especially since we will need culture. Because in order to actually unlock the polders, we need guilds right here. That's what unlocks polders. Which means we need culture to get there faster, not science. Obviously, we also want science, but culture is what unlocks polders specifically. And these are really damn powerful. And we can easily have, like, at least six. Even more than that. 
Let's see. Rotterdam can easily have three. Right here. All of these are valid and in range. We can have one up here. Near Amsterdam. That will be a nice location. Then we can have three more over here. So that's seven polders that we can get with three cities. I would say that's pretty good. So let's take a look over here. See what's going on. I'm not a huge fan of these mountains. They will make movement between cities a little bit annoying. But oh well, we can deal with it. It's not really that big of a deal. Right, let's queue something up after the spearman. I'm thinking settler, definitely. A builder can wait. We can also get a builder in Rotterdam after the monument. Unless we want to delay the settler five turns. It is only five turns because we got a policy active. Right? Yes, we do. And we could swap it to something else in five turns after we get early empire. Now, that's not a bad idea. In fact, we could delay the spearman, get a builder in five turns, then finish the spearman in one. I mean, I don't need the spearman right now, and there's no need to pay maintenance for him just yet. So we can finish the builder in five turns, and then swap the policy for something else. I could also change early empire to something else. If we get six population, we will get six population total. Yeah, let's switch it to something else. There's no need to waste research time here. We can get a military tradition. Then we'll get flanking and support combat bonuses. Yeah, and hopefully we'll have enough time to build a campus before we really need to finish state workforce. That would be the plan for now. Do we have a promotion? Oh, on this guy, right. Yeah, that's fine. Come on now. So, promotion. Let's grab battle cry. Can we do anything as far as diplomacy goes? Not a whole lot. No, not really. Okay, never mind then. So I can't go through here because mountain, although we can go through the jungle, I suppose. But one warrior should be enough to check out the area. I just want to see if there's like a barbarian camp right inside the fog. Because that will be our future city location. Okay, right, I can't go through here anymore. I will have to go through the city-state territory. Which is fine, I guess. We could also go west through here, probably. But I want to scout this area. I thought clay must feel There's happy. pottery. So writing is next. We already got a boost for that. Yeah, I can't really go through here either. That might be a little bit annoying. Okay, carry on then. You guys will stay here for now. And you can scout the area. We should have enough for defense for now. But might be a good idea to get city walls in Rotterdam eventually. Just in case Rome gets any silly ideas. Because they certainly might. That wouldn't even surprise me too much. I almost expect it at some point. Especially once they get their unique units. So hold on, I can't actually go through here? Yeah, we can go south. We got another city-state. They want us to construct a holy site. Okay, I might do that. But Campos will be first. Ancient Era ends in three turns. City is losing loyalty again. Well, it's fine. It's only minus 4.3. Right now. And falling 0.3 per turn. Yeah, it will be back in the positives in no time. If only through population. So, I'm not really worried about that. That is quite a few units. Alright, good for him. So, one turn to finish the builder. Then, we'll take one turn to finish the spearman. And get started on the settler. And we are also about to get six total population on the next turn. That will give us the Eureka. Or rather, Inspiration. Bravery. 
is being the only and one. we also got military tradition and there it is so early empire uh, do we still technically have to finish that oh yeah we need like a sliver of research okay sure we can do that let's explore to the south two wonders completed uh, no that's an older notification so builder what do we want to do I could boost the settler by chopping the forest. Uh, that is definitely a good idea, I think. Yeah, that's a good idea, especially since we want to settle two more cities as soon as possible. Okay, even more potential locations for boulders. Looks like this one will be valid. Yeah, it certainly will be. Look back over the past. There's early Changing. empire, so now we can change our policies. We don't need the builder boost anymore. I will keep the production boost for units, I think. We could get more loyalty, but I don't think that's necessary. We'll be fine without this. I would say plus one production in all cities. Or we could speed up that settler. Well, since we want two settlers out as fast as possible, this probably makes sense. Yeah, it definitely makes sense. Do we swap this out or not? Uh, let's keep it. Okay, colonization it is then. Alright then, yeah, this is going to be such a nice location for a city. Just need to think about where exactly to settle. I'm leaning towards like this style right here. Because with this one, we'll have four polders in range. One, two, three, four. And maybe potentially this one, we don't know what this style is exactly, and how many land tiles it's surrounded by. So it's at least four polders in range of this city location right here. That's going to be so good. Anyway, our next civic research is going to be state workforce and then political philosophy. I'm not sure if I want to wait to build a district. I might just do it without the inspiration, because we want our government as soon as possible. And at the same time I want two settlers out ASAP. I definitely want to grab this location before someone else gets a chance to. As much as I want Aaron, it's really unlikely anyone is going to settle a city up here. But it's more likely someone might settle here. We don't know if there are any AIs to the east. I assume there might be. It could also be the end of the continent, but we don't know that yet. Anyway, builder. So let's speed up the settler by chopping the forest. There, that's 36 production. That will do. And let's carry on. We'll go through here and go find more AIs. Chandra Gupta seems to be getting pretty strong. And the world enters writing the classical era. Oh yeah, writing is easy. So now oh, yeah. we can make our dedication. Wrong words. Probably the first one. We gain a plus one era score each time we trigger Eureka, and we get plus one era score for constructing a building that provides science as a base yield. We'll want to do that anyway. We will definitely be doing that. So that's what I'm leaning towards. That just makes sense. Okay, yeah. Writing is easy. Sounds good to me. And we got writing. So what's next? Good question. Currency, actually. It's already boosted. Although I'm not sure if I'll have the time to build the commercial hub just yet. Can we get a quarry? No, I don't think we can get a quarry. Well, this city will be able to get a quarry. I could leave one charge on that builder and send him with the settler and get a quarry here ASAP. Because I would like to get city walls. I'm just slightly paranoid Rome will declare war on us at some point. So it would be good to get city walls in Rotterdam at least. I really think we should. So, let's do exactly that. 
We'll research masonry and we'll send a builder with the settler. I could even save both charges and then we can improve the stone and let's say gypsum or sugar. Well, we don't have irrigation for sugar, but we can improve gypsum. That sounds reasonable. Okay then. Let's save both charges. What city-state quests do we currently have? Recruit a great scientist. Eureka Fort Sailing. What's Eureka Fort Sailing again? Oh, found a city on the coast. Yeah, we will do that, actually. Send the trade road to... Yeah, that's too far away. Recruit a great prophet. Construct a holy site. And recruit a great prophet. I will build a holy site, but not just yet. And we will definitely get a city on the coast. What's going on here? Okay, we found Australia. Good to know. And these look like city-states. Pretty sure that's what it is. Okay. So, one more turn. Let's just send the spearman right away. He can escort the builder. Is anything queued up? No. This would be a good moment to grab that compass. I just need to buy a tile. Uh, yeah, I'm not willing to wait five turns. Let's just buy it. And that's going to be the compass. It's a pretty nice one. We could also get this one. But it won't really make a big difference. Not to mention it will cost us more money, so... It's both plus five. Okay, sounds good to me. Plus five. We kind of need it by now. As for Rotterdam, I'm leaning towards more units, especially since we still have the policy. So another spearman, and then maybe an archer. That sounds reasonable. Barbarian camp, okay then. And I'll probably switch from state workforce to something else. It will delay the research slightly, but we will get the boost once we finish the campus. I could actually chop one more forest to speed up the campus, but I don't really want to do that. I'd rather save both charges for our new city. So that's what we're going to do. We might be able to speed it up by slowing down the growth. These tiles are locked. No, it's going to be 12 turns regardless, from the looks of it. Okay, fine. We could really use more growth tiles around here. There are some grasslands to the east. So that's an option. But then we lose production. Yeah, this is fine. Carry on then. Oh, actually, that's not a city-state, that's... Who is this? India. Wait, really? Okay. Fine, whatever. Oh, there's the barbarian camp. I'm glad I sent a spearman then. But this is definitely a good reason to grab that city. Yeah, minus 11 loyalty. That's going to hurt. I might reconsider the exact location. Then again, it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. It should be fine. Technically, I could settle on top of the stone. I would prefer not to do that. But we could. It is an option. I still think the forested hill is better. We need a governor faster. That's what we need. Well, we'll get one eventually. So, anything else to explore? Not a whole lot, really. I can't even attack that scout, so never mind. Maybe another time. 
So the stone or the forested hill? I think it'll be fine, loyalty wise. It should be fine. I mean, they are not that close. It's fine. It's just that this is probably their capital or something. And yeah, they are sending another settler. Alright, one thing we definitely need is that quarry. Oh, and we should switch the research to something else. Let's switch to irrigation then. And I might want to get rid of that barbarian camp. Not sure if one spearman is going to be enough to deal with that. Probably not. But I don't want to leave Rotterdam without defenses. I suppose one warrior is technically a defense, but not much of a defense. On the other hand, we won't be very far away. Should be fine. Okay, next. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't wait for that campus. We need a state workforce faster. With a strong, and there it is. Well -educated workforce. So next up, we are going for political philosophy. That's already boosted, which means we can get our government in nine turns. And let's settle right here. Yeah, minus 13. It's going to hurt for a little bit. But it should be fine. Famous last words. Pretty sure it will be fine. Anyway, do we want to switch the policy? We still need one more settler soon to get that iron. So... Well, then again, we'll get a chance to swap again in nine turns. Which means we don't need this right now. What do we want? Reduces the cost of purchasing tiles. That might be useful. We could always grab a plus on production in our cities, to be honest. That will help our new city. Let's grab that then. It will need a little bit of help, I think. Certainly. Where is he heading with that settler? Well, not sure, but he's heading somewhere. Alright, let's settle. Here we go. He probably won't like it, but I mean, this city location is just way too good to ignore. This also gives us sailing boost. But now we probably need defenses around this city more than around Rotterdam. He's more likely to attack us than Rome at this point, I think. Yeah. Not to mention we'll need city walls. Let's grab a monument. And once our trade route expires, we'll send a trade route from here. Same reason, we'll get a little bit of extra loyalty. Yeah, loyalty is a bit of a problem right now. We just need more population. So, Granary. That will give us more population. How about tile assignments? Yeah, not a lot of good growth tiles around here. We should probably log the grasslands. Make this city grow. Yeah, that means it won't have a lot of... Wait, why is it not growing? Oh, it doesn't have enough... Wait, how does it not have enough housing? It has 3 out of 5. So why is it not growing? It has the food. Anyway, there's the governor. So I guess I'm just going to grab Magdos. How many tiles do we still want to chop at some point? We got some forests we can chop. We could even consider removing some terrain features. Uh, I mean, resources. Yeah, possibly. Anyway, let's get that quarry, shall we? When so that gives us masonry, and now we can build city walls. We will definitely need those. Just going to move the units. Uh, so hold on. I'm a little bit torn about this. I'm almost considering Victor for defenses. But we got a few options. Screw it, let's get Magnus. Magnus is just too good. 
for when you remove a terrain feature or a resource. I'm not going to ignore that. And how bad is it? Yeah, we should send him to this one. Off you go then. Alright, carry on, and then we'll need another governor. When we get a chance to. Yeah, yeah, we'll look elsewhere, it's fine. Yeah, they are mad. But seriously, I needed the city location. It was way too good to ignore it. What the heck? <laughs> he left the camp? Okay, whatever. Plus three era score for us. I certainly don't mind. And a little bit of experience. Okay then. So, we got one more charge. Oh, and we can build monasteries now, because we are the suzerain. But probably better if we grab gypsum. Or we can get sugar, because we are about to finish irrigation. So that works too. How are the tile assignments in here? Yeah, we'll work this one. Definitely. Or we could work the sugar to make it grow a little bit faster. Yeah, let's make it grow a little bit faster then. Two turns until growth. Yeah, Rotterdam is growing. It's just that it doesn't update on the main map instantly. You have to look down here, I suppose. I thought that was fixed, but I guess I was mistaken. Okay, whatever. Let's get the heck out of here. I might have to disband that scout. So now we need one more city, and that will be our core. Well, frankly, these three cities are already our core, Thousands but I kind of want love. that iron. Not There's more. irrigation, so we can grab the sugar right away. Well, on the next turn, I guess, because movement. Go back. I'm going to keep the spearmen roughly in the middle, on the jungle tile, so that we can go east or west, depending on which city is being threatened. That seems reasonable. As for research, I think it's about time to get sailing. Yep, definitely. Then we can improve the coastal tiles. At least the crabs, because they are already inside our territory, while the whales are not. Yeah, I'm not sure if I will be able to get out of here. I might have to disband that scout. There's not much else I can explore around here, to be honest. We can get out for now. City losing loyalty, yeah, tell me something new. Well, I mean, this one is not losing it anymore. I can just flip the governor back and forth, and that will work just fine. It's going to be a little bit of extra micro, but it will work. So you guys are just going to stay here. Grab the sugar. Alright, so that's a very nice tile now. And yeah, I was right, this is a valid location for a polder. So that means we'll have five polders near the city eventually. That's actually insane, as far as Civilization VI goes. Since it's harder to get polders in Civ VI. Or at least the rules are pretty strict. Okay, so Rome is happy with us now because we expanded. That's their agenda. They still technically are unfriendly, but that should improve over time. You need to heal up. And once we get city walls, that should be enough defenses. I think so. Just need to get our loyalty sorted. Okay then. Next. Three turns and we can get political philosophy. And we could actually go for the same government some of the uh, eyes have. Venture more. What do they actually have? Classical Republic. Oligarchy. Classical Republic. Oligarchy. Okay, so we should probably go for either Classical Republic or Oligarchy. Because then we will get a slight boost with them. For having the same government. It's not massive, but it can help. Let's grab the wheel. And yeah, I can't really go through here. I think it's time to disband that scout. Yep, 
Seems like it. Nice missionary, bro. 15 turns. I'll just move the governor. Once we reach full loyalty in the other city. And he got plus 3 error score because he completed the campus. Not to mention we'll get all that extra science. That is such a nice location for a campus. It doesn't get much better than that. Now, do we go for a settler immediately or grab that library? I think we should grab the library. Because we don't want to fall too far behind in science. And I guess this location can wait. Yeah, I don't want to fall too far behind in science. Let's get the library. So, Archer inside the city. And the other guys will chill outside. Okay, looks good. So, Rotterdam. 17 turns for the city to grow. That is a little bit slow. But... Yeah, that's a little bit too slow, actually. Let's get that granary done faster. And we kind of need a builder, actually. So, you know what? Before we get the library... How about we grab a builder? We can also switch to the policy. Let's get one turn of library done, and then we'll switch to the policy that will speed up builders by 30%. We can do that on the next turn. Come on now. There it is. So now we can get a government. Right. I'm actually leaning towards Classical Republic, kind of. Although, if someone actually ends up attacking us, like the Khmer, the extra unit experience would be decent. Not to mention, the combat bonus would also be nice. But at the same time, the housing bonus from Classical Republic is nice. Let's go for Classical Republic. Hopefully that will help us get friendly with Rome. Yep, sounds good to me. Well, I mean, not to mention the extra great person points are always nice. So Classical Republic it is then. Now, I will be keeping plus on production. Especially since... Some of our cities have very low production. We will grab plus 30% production towards builders, like I mentioned just a moment ago. And then a diplomatic policy. Yeah, diplomatic league. We didn't really send a lot of envoys, so this makes sense? Or does it? Yeah, I think it does. And wildcard. We can get anything for that. Actually, plus two loyalty would kind of make sense right now. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, but let's get the loyalty for now. It's fine. Just to play it safe. It's still technically going down, but now we got 43 turns. As for our next Civic... So, like I said before, we need guilds to unlock polders. We are not quite close to that just yet, but that should be one of our top priorities. So, here are all the civics that we need for guilds. We don't technically need mysticism, so we could ignore that for now, but it will award us one envoy. I would say it's worth it, it's only three turns, it's already boosted. Do we have the time to research construction? I don't know, do we? No, probably not. We don't even have a pasture. Can we get a pasture? I suppose we can. Right, let's switch Amsterdam to Builder. So there you go, that's four turns. And then we'll finish the library. So hold on, we could get a pasture here to get the boost for horseback riding. I 
I don't know about this. Then we would have to build a water mill to get the boost for construction. I don't think it's worth waiting for construction to research games and recreation. No, probably not. What do you want? Open borders? He wants open borders from us. I'm not giving you open borders, sorry buddy. Why would you need that anyway? I mean, don't get me wrong, I could use a little bit of extra money. Okay, this guy wants mutual open borders. And he's willing to give us some gold. I might actually accept that one. No, screw it, I'm not accepting that. Can we get two-way open borders with Rome, however? I would accept this one since I want to get friendlier with Rome. Okay, sure, let's go for that one. Works for me. Don't I can't tell how many cities he has. We only Just know about two right now. There's the wheel. So next up... If we want that holy site, then I guess we need astrology. It's only two turns. And then probably currency. We'll want at least one commercial hub for obvious reasons. We need the gold. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.